Well, Shad, um, going to change things up a little bit in the rest of 2016 and 2017. Um, before I get started, a lot of you guys are going to ask about my arm. I had a uh, slip and fall on my boat, uh, getting in and out of the boat a little bit, and I torn my rotator cuff. And it hasn't allowed me to be able to fish a lot this fall, which is part of the reasons why you haven't been seeing me uh, uh, posting any fish pictures, because I haven't been able to go. It's very difficult to be able to hold my rod for any length of time, especially a big swim bay rod. So uh, the upside of this is I guess me to, it allows me to do a project that I've been wanting to do for quite a while. Um, over the years, I've gotten a lot of emails and PMs about swim bait questions from everything from A to Z. Um, so what I want to do is I want to revamp, ramp up my YouTube page and do a series of pile of short videos, more specifically a pile of short swim bait videos. I'm going to cover everything from A to Z, um, rods, reels, lines, lures, uh, modifications, how to tune a swim bait, um, gosh, uh, uh, new, lure, uh, new lure rollouts, teaser videos, strategies that I use, and also a very cool thing I thought of is uh, fishing reports. You know, not only do what's working for me, but what am I looking for in the next two, three weeks, and four weeks, so that those people below me and above me can be able to figure, find out where we are in the uh, in the strategies that we're using. So uh, I think that'd be a cool segment to do. And uh, but um, why am I telling you all this? Um, it's my understanding when you subscribe to our YouTube page, you will get an email notification, and that I've uploaded a video. That way, you can go directly to the video and watch it. Um, in case you miss it on Facebook, um, you can share it. You can, you know, comment on it. Um, you can do it'll be all be in one spot, so you can reference back to it and, and watch it over and over again. So uh, it won't be hard to find. Um, so I hope that'd be something that you guys would be interested in. Um, one other thing I want to say is, there's, you know, when I do these videos, is there's there's more than one way to do things. There's more than one way to skin a cat. So my way is not the only way. Um, what might work for me might not work for somebody else and vice versa so um keep that in mind when you do these videos take what you like and disregard what you don't like um back 14 13 years ago when i started getting into it back here in the south there was nobody getting into swim bait so i really didn't have anybody to share notes with so essentially i'm self-taught in that regard so while i learned a lot i also made a lot of mistakes so um so why am i telling you all this um the goal of this thing is to make sure that you, you shorten the learning curve, you know, not make the same mistakes that I made over the years. And there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them that were obvious and there's a lot of them that weren't so obvious. So, um, and one thing that brought me back and a little story is I've just started getting into fly fishing. And when you're new at something, you take a lot of things for granted. And, you know, when I'm fly fishing, you got a tippet, you got a leader, you got a fly line, you got this long reel, you got to cast it a certain way, not make splashes. Um, you know, split shot, two droppers, nymph, floater, you know, it, it's all relatively the same when it comes to swim bait fishing. There's a lot of little ins and outs that you need to know uh, to get started. A lot of strategies, where to look for the fish, where to find the fish, cut, hit fish, catch the streams, how high do you put your cork, all that kind of stuff. So they're very similar in those regards and it made me have another outlook of remind me of when I got into swim baits. So I was kind of lost too. So hopefully this will help you shorten your learning curve and get you to focus on the things that are important and get the little stuff out of the way so that you can concentrate on fishing and not worrying about the little stuff that you don't need to be worrying about. So the second reason I want to do this is to give back to the swim bait community that have helped me, that have supported me all these years. Um, I do very much appreciate everybody's help and support over the last few years. I haven't had the time of my life um, help making these baits and having fun, getting all the feedback from the customers, seeing all the catches and stuff. So um, I really, really uh, enjoy what I'm doing and I really enjoy helping people catch their big fish and, and talking swim baits with everybody. So also help those clients that I, guide clients that I've had for several years. I haven't been able to guide in several years because of the swim bait business. So basically what I'm doing here is giving you a free guide trip, you know, just doing it in a video format. So I hope this is something that you will learn, learn, understand and learn and um, be able to, to take something from it and uh, help you with your fishing and stuff. Um, so uh, what, what is going to bring me to my first video? What are we going to do? I think before you talk about anything, 
nine rod reels, all that baits, that kind of stuff, you need to tell people why swim baits work, what makes them tick. What is the mindset of a swim bait guy that has been doing this for 10, 15, 12 years versus somebody that's just getting into it? That is the number, probably one of the most things that will help most people focus in on what they're doing if they're focusing in on the right thing. So learn it from somebody that's done it for several years. Um, it'll help you that. It'll help you get there quicker to shorten that learning curve. So um, be on the lookout for that video in the next several days. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page. Click on the YouTube button at the bottom and hit subscribe. It'll take you to youtube.com and click on the subscribe button. That way you'll get that email notification. And also, please, on this post, give me some feedback. What do you think of this idea? Does it suck? You got a better idea? Got some topics? I got a pile of topics I'd like to cover. And uh, so I would love to hear your feedback and see what you think. And to give this swim bank thing, video thing, a southern appeal, for the lack of a better uh, description. So I'm looking forward to doing it. Thank you guys for your support. We got some good stuff coming out in 2017. So I'm excited to get you show you guys what we got, what we've been working on. So, uh, but thanks again for your support. And give me a comment and like on subscribe on YouTube. Bye.